We continue to hear promising news about the development of a vaccine to protect us against COVID-19. In 2009, researchers had a vaccine to guard against the swine flu in just five months. So why is it taking so much longer this time? Here is our Why Guy. It's called Operation Warp Speed. The United States government is pouring billions of dollars into an effort to develop a COVID-19 vaccine as quickly as possible. The hope is to have one available by the end of the year or early 2021. 11 years ago, the country was in a similar rush, needing a vaccine to protect Americans from the swine flu. In that case, it took a little over five months. Let's look at why this effort is taking so much longer. The virus that swept the world in 2009 was a new strain of the flu. There was already a flu vaccine that scientists adjust each year. We had a base. We have an understanding of what we need to trigger in terms of an immune response. Vaccines work by imitating an infection, prompting your body's immune system to fight back. Scientists first need to learn what will prompt an immune response. While they had a head start with the swine flu, Dr. Walt Orenstein of Emory's Vaccine Center says that's not the case with COVID-19. We don't understand yet what is and what is not a protective immune response. We have suspicions, but we don't really have clear knowledge. COVID-19 is caused by a new strain of the coronavirus. It's not the first coronavirus, but the others never resulted in a vaccine. There were developing vaccines and but we never got to licensure and use. The first doses of the swine flu vaccine were given on October 5th, 2009, as the U.S. was experiencing a second wave of the virus. The World Health Organization declared an end to the pandemic the following August. 